Hello everyone, my name is Misong. I'm a developer advocate at Tetrit. In this video, I will show you what's new in Istio 1.14 and why would you need Spire for authentication in Istio. Istio 1.14 was released in June of this year and one of the most notable features of this release is support for Spire, which is one of the implementations of SPIF, a CNCF incubation project. First, let me introduce you to what Spire is. Spire is a SPIF implementation that is ready for production. SPID is a document that the workload uses to prove its identity to a resource or caller. SPID contains a SPIF ID that presents a service's identity. The SPIF ID is a URI that looks like this. This diagram shows the architecture of Spire with a server and an agent installed on each worker node. We can deploy them into Kubernetes cluster as data set and demo sets. The workload requests an identity from the workload API in the agent, and all identity requests are sent to the server. We can also use command line tools or REST API to send API requests directly to the server. This diagram shows how the workload interacts with Spire in Istio. Workload shares a Unix domain socket with Spire agent and the Spire agent issues the X.509 suite to workloads. This diagram shows the steps of workload attestation with Spire in Istio. Each communication between services with Istio needs to provide their own identity. Spire can help us with this. Pilot agent is one of the processes in the sidecar. The Kubernetes requires information for the workload from the Kubernetes API server and turns them to the tester. The tester compares the results returned by the Kubernetes with the analytic information shared by the sidecar, and if they match, it turns the suite to the workload and catches it. Let's install Spire and Istio, and then use Spire Kubernetes Workload Registrar to automatically register the workloads. You can refer to Istio's documentation to do this, and I'll show you the output in the video. Installing Spire is as simple as applying a YAML file using Kube Control. This patch is aimed to allow the workload port to share its Unix domain sockets with a Spire agent. You can register identities for workload manually. For Kubernetes, we can just use the Spire Kubernetes workload registrar. Finally, let's check the identities of workloads with Kube Control. You can see a lot of entries from the outputs. There are three kinds of SPIF ID for different workloads. Server, node, and service account. By using Spire to provide authentication for workloads, we can effectively manage workloads identity in Istio Service Mesh. Thank you for watching. See you next time.